My Friend Bear by Jess Alboro Ed is walking with his daddy. Eddie's daddy's name is Freddy. Oh, Freddy, said Eddie with a great big sigh. I feel sad, but I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. Eddie sighed again. I wish you could talk, he said. And then... Wow! Look at that! Up there on that stone, a giant daddy, all on his own. We've seen him before. He belongs to the bear who lives around this wood somewhere. Suddenly, something made Eddie turn around. A snuffling, scuffling, bear sort of sound. A great big voice whined, Where's my daddy? He's coming, he's coming. Let's hide, cried Eddie. The great big bear came shuffling by, then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, daddy, he whimpered. What can I do? I've got no friends apart from you. And you can talk, and you don't care. I'm such a sad and lonely bear. Then, just as he brushed a tear from his eye, a little voice whispered, Please don't cry. I'm all on my own, just like you. With no one to talk to and nothing to do. I'm a little bit lonely too, you see. If you want, you can talk to me. The bear couldn't believe his ears. He gulped and sniffed and wiped his tears. You can talk after all, he cried. Of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Why didn't you talk before? He said. Because I'm scared, said the voice. And small and shy. And you're a great big bear. That's why. There, there, said the bear. You are in a model. What you need is a great big cuddle. No, I don't, shrieked the voice. Yes, you do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared, you're my daddy. No, I'm not, cried the voice. It's me, Eddie. Stared at Eddie and clung to his daddy. Eddie stared back and hung on to Freddy. Suddenly, Eddie started to grin. He felt a chuckle rise up from within. He tried to stop it, but it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny? asked the bear with a frown. It's you, <laughs> giggled Eddie. It's you standing there. You're such a great big silly bear. No, I'm not, said the bear. Yes, you are, yelled Eddie. You thought you had a talking daddy. Then the bear began to snicker. The smile on his face grew bigger and bigger. His great big belly wiggled and jiggled. I am a silly bear, <laughs> he giggled. A talking daddy. I thought it was true, but all along it was really you. The bear held out his giant-sized daddy, crouched down behind it, and said, Hello, Eddie. I'm a talking daddy. Listen to me. Aren't I clever? I'm only three. Then Eddie wanted to have a go. He held up his daddy and squeaked, Hello, my name's Freddy. How do you do? I can talk and I'm only two. They laughed and they laughed 
till their tummies were sore. Then they looked at each other and laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song, and he made up the words as he wobbled along. I'm silly, he said, and I don't care. I'm such a great big silly bear. Wahoo, sang Andy. I'm as silly as you, and your Teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon, they played in the sun, singing just who was the silliest one. When the sun began to set in the sky, they knew it was time to say goodbye. We are friends, said Andy. The bear said, Hmm? You know, said Andy, me and you. The bear lifted Andy up for a hug. Harry and Perry, Swift and Snuck. Take care, he said. Look after Freddy. We'll come back soon, whispered Eddie. Then off they walked with a smile and a wave, back to a house and back to a cave. Do you think that they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friends is for. The end.